Hello everyone, today I want to introduce you to a new product from Febi. It's specifically a test device for operating fluids, such as engine oil, transmission oil, brake fluid, power steering, and various other central hydraulic oils. With it, you can basically create a small blood test of your engine. Let's unpack the device together. I'll explain the contents included and how to set up the device, and then we'll test a few fluids. And then I'll explain the results to you. Upon opening the box, the very first thing that immediately catches our attention is the official registration letter. You should read this registration letter very carefully and completely. There you'll also find a QR code that you can scan. With that, you can then register the device online so it can be activated. You can easily enter your workshop data and upload your workshop logo so that it later appears on the test reports. Once this is done, you can easily and without any hassle set up the device yourself. The device is here again in a separate outer packaging. Let's tear it open. Here we find a standard USB data cable. Please use this as well because it's not just a simple charging cable, but a high-speed cable that's suitable for data transfer. Here we have the device. On the side, you'll find a slot where you can insert a corresponding Phoebe fluid check. On the back of the device, we have a standard USB-C port. And like I said, you don't need anything else to get started. The device, a USB cable, a fluid check, and of course, the registration letter. Once the registration is successful, you can connect the device directly to your tablet, but also to your computer or smartphone depending on which device you prefer to use. The test device can also be easily operated via a power bank. Since we have the option to easily connect the device via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Once you've easily and quickly downloaded the app onto your tablet, you can simply plug the USB connector in at the bottom. And then the IDIA app opens all by itself and you can already get started and register for the first test. To register the first test, you simply take a fluid check. The QR code must face down in the device. We slide it into the device, simply click on the register test button, and then carefully select. In that case, motor oil, gasoline, the time when we take the test, and fill in the license plate, vehicle manufacturer, the model, the mileage, the mileage, and when the last oil change was, because there should be at least 3,500 kilometers in between just to produce a reasonable result. And then we'll just send the report and we are ready to take the first test out of the vehicle. So the first test is registered and now we can carefully remove the protective film from the test here. Underneath here is a specific fleece, which has the properties to separate the oil drop into its components, basically to then find out exactly what's going on with our oil. So we carefully take the oil dipstick and then and gently place an oil drop right in the exact center of this designated area. Now we can already see nicely here what the oil drop looks like. We'll let this rest for two hours now with motor oil and let it absorb. For other operating fluids, approximately 30 minutes is usually enough. Only with motor oil, we have to wait at least two hours, but no longer than 48 hours. We've already prepared something, of course. That's why we're going straight to the evaluation now, and then we'll look at the results together. To evaluate a test now, we take the matured test, slide it back into the device with the QR code facing down, and then click on Evaluate in the app. Now a total of four photos of the test are being taken. This takes a few seconds. We will then upload these files to the server. And within approximately five minutes, you'll receive your result via email to the email address you provided earlier. Here we can clearly and nicely see how the photos have been taken. We could take photos again now, in case they didn't turn out well enough. In this case, everything is fine. We simply click here on send now. 
Now the photos are being uploaded, matched with the registered test. The test is being created, and soon we will be able to see the test results. So, we've received the test report. I've already opened this one up. You can see it displayed here now. Let's quickly go over the first page. There, from top to bottom, we first see the vehicle data, of course. And then we just go straight to the first test value. That is soot. And here we see the soot level is already in the elevated range. That means there's definitely a need for action here. The overall condition of the oil is, in general, also only average at best. We currently have very little water in the oil. However, there is a slightly increased fuel content level. That means probably here, due to short distance operation, we now have a slight fuel content in the oil. At the bottom, we have another test evaluation. That means in this case, normal combustion, the oil condition is within the normal range for the oil mileage. Slightly elevated fuel content, this could be due to short distance driving, among other things. If you want to go into a more detailed diagnosis at this moment, just go to page 2. Here we can actually see that the oil is no longer in optimal condition. That means we would definitely recommend doing the oil change here. Otherwise, we risk causing damage to the timing chain, turbocharger, etc. Because the oil is one of the most important things in the engine. Worn out oil can no longer protect the engine and thus, over time, will potentially lead to serious consequential damage. For more information about our testing device, just visit us online or talk to your sales representative at the next trade fair.